congratulations. Felix de Jesus will translate for us. This was some kind of fight. When did you recognize that you had such an advantage due to the right shoulder that was bothering Berto? When did you recognize that you had such an advantage due to the right shoulder that was bothering Berto? No, no, pues mira, este, la verdad, yo estaba uh, haciendo mi trabajo, lo que me hacía en mi esquina, este, y, y fue lo que, lo que, lo que dio fruto, ¿no? No, 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 no fuimos sobre el shoulder de... De Berto, simplemente el trabajo que teníamos que hacer. He was just, he had his work on hand to do today, and his corner test tell him to keep on working, and he didn't think any, in any moment of his shoulder. After you got knocked down in the 11th round, did you feel as though you had to knock him out to win this fight? Or did you feel you were comfortably ahead? Después que te noquearon en el round número 11, ¿tú pensabas que tenías que ganarla? No me noqueó, me pegó en los huevos. Este, y el referee no lo vio, pero no, 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 fue, no fue un golpe a, a, al estómago. En verdad, nunca me, la, me lastimó. Sí, sentí unos golpes fuertes, pero nunca me lastimó la, al barichap. Pero, pero eh, eh, cuando salí más, con más coraje para el 12 round, la gente de la esquina me decía que boxeara nomás. Yo le dije, no, le voy a partir su madre. He was a little more upset because he recognized that it was a low blow and that's what he felt he does not think it was a knockout it was more a low blow that hit him and his corner kept going, telling him to keep on fighting what adjustments have you made because you've you've been an excellent fighter in the past but your record hasn't been indicative of that what adjustments have you made ¿Qué ajustes ha hecho Sotocaraz? porque el récord tuyo eh, no indica que tú has ganado muchas de las peleas bueno, la, la verdad entrenar entrenar como se debe no dejarme de payasadas y dedicarme Estoy en el boxeo y me tengo que dedicar al 100% y yo lo que estaba haciendo dedicarme al 100% al boxeo. He, he's dedicated 100% to boxing. He stopped clowning around and he's dedicated to boxing as part of his, you know, uh, history and what he needs to do. Jesus, let's take a look at the knockout and please tell us what is going on here in the final round when you connected on the knockout. ¿Qué está pasando en el último round aquí, Jesús? Oye, yo en ese round, la esquina como te digo me dijo Salí a boxear y dije, no, lo, lo, voy a, lo voy a acabar, lo voy a acabar, este ramo va a salir, lo voy a acabar. Y lo, y lo cumplí, y así como le dije a toda la gente, toda la entrevista, o sea, con malas palabras, pero con todo respeto para Alberto, que le iba a partir su madre, y creo que lo cumplí. Muchas gracias a todos, San Antonio, por su apoyo. His uh, corner told him to come out and start boxing, but he said, no, I'm going to go and knock him down. And with all due respect, Alberto is a great fighter, but he had told him that he was going to knock him out. And what would you like to do next? ¿Qué quiere hacer ahora? Pues mira, primero a, a dar gracias a, a toda la gente bonita aquí de San Antonio, ¿no? a la fundación de Susan G. Coman por el, el breast cancer, el cáncer de mama, que estoy apoyando con, con el color rosita, ¿no? Pero lo que sigue, lo que sigue, yo creo lo, lo que está en manos de Golden Boy, de mi manager, yo creo que a, al rival que me ponga no, no le tengo miedo, nunca le tengo miedo a nadie y no tengo por qué temerle a estas alturas ya. He definitely wants to thank the people here in San Antonio to come out and support him. And Golden Boy is going to determine his next fight to see what he's going to do. And he's also uh, focusing on the breast cancer uh, that he had his trunks and all that. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Let's go and see if we can get a word over here with Andre Berto, who's dealing right now with Virgil. Andre, can we have a word with you? Yo. What happened in the fight to your shoulder, your right shoulder? Uh, I think I, uh, I think I tore it out of socket early, like the, I mean, I don't know, like the fourth round, my right shoulder. That's why I just kept using my left. Um, um, I think I tore it out of socket, so I couldn't really use it at all. But, you know, like I said, man, I'm a warrior at the end of the day. You know, it doesn't matter what happens. I wish I should have at least deserved the eight count. But I'm going to go out on my shield regardless, man. So um, I want to thank everybody for, I want to thank everybody here in San Antonio for supporting me. I want to thank all the boxing fans around the world for supporting me, man. You know, I, uh, you know every time I step in here, you know, I'll let my, you know, i put it all out on the line. You know, and, um, and I see in, I thought I should at least deserve the eight count. And I tore my shoulder probably the third round, but I kept Why did you elect to continue? Did you feel as though you could win the fight? Man, I don't care. I, mean, I don't care, man. Coming from where I come from, you know, my parents from Haiti, man. You know, I mean, it's, 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 you know, it's one of the most, you know, uh, you know, we had to work hard. I'd even get to where we're at right now. You Same know? injury that caused the postponement against Ortiz? No, no, no. I was a tour, uh, well, I tore a bicep on my left shoulder. I mean, put my left bicep, but, but you know, like I said, at the end of the day, man, you know, I show that warrior spirit every time. I don't care, you know, if I messed up my shoulder or not, man. Um, and I'm gonna go out there and put it all on the line. But I thought I deserved at least an eight count, um, you know, for the last knockdown. But, you know, it is what it is, man. I want to thank everybody for supporting me, man. Andre, thank you. We appreciate it. Mo, back to you. 
All right, so that was Jim Gray from the American Network Showtime. I'm Dave Bontempo. And you want to talk about uh, performing under pressure? Jesus Soto Carras, this fight was going to be a draw if he didn't pull this out. It was 105-103 Berto, 105-103 Soto Carras, and 104-104 before that last round. So he pulls it out in dramatic fashion and puts a cap on what was a terrific night of boxing here in San Antonio. We also had a win for Keith Thurman over Diego Chavez to come up with a world title a night of celebrations and also for Omar Figueroa from Texas. Quite a night and quite a left hook which ended things for this man gets the win for Frank Ian e. Belmont Steve Belmont and Jason Beidel. I'm Dave Bontempo. Thanks for joining us.